food, fireworks, and fun with the 4th of July weekend here, it can only mean one thing, Ribfest. Naperville News 17's Kevin Maycheck digs in to this year's event. Naperville's largest barbecue had folks coming out from the woodwork for many reasons. Some, of course, for the ribs, some for the music, and some for Pigfoot. <laughs> Pigfoot and Lava Rock. We came for both. Others came for the rides, including a new one that had its passengers freaking out. Oh my God! I admit I was pretty scared at first, but it actually wasn't that bad. The 27th annual Rib Fest drew thousands to Knock Park right from the very first day. We're glad to see the sun came out, the rain drained away, and people came out for this event. So we had a good turnout today. I think just the whole community coming together is fun. Eating, listening to the music. The Exchange Club of Naperville organizes the event each year. Club member Don Portner took the stage to honor Mayor Pradel, proclaiming it Mayor A. George Pradel Day. And whereas we cannot honestly imagine how many ribs the mayor has consumed in his line of duty. The Exchange Club gave him a personalized jacket, will give him tickets to Ribfest each year for him and three friends for the rest of his life, and made him a lifetime rib judge. What an honor. I, I, I don't deserve that, you know. Every single dollar raised from a rib fest goes towards charities that help prevent domestic violence and child abuse. This is where I get serious and this is where the commitment comes for all of our volunteers. We donate to about 53 different service organizations in DuPage, Kendall, Will, Kane County. And uh, that, that's really important service work that we do. If you went to Ribfest this year, send us your best pictures. Email newstips at nctv17.com. Reporting from Knock Park, Kevin Maycheck, Naperville News 17. If you aren't able to make this year's Ribfest, no worries. You can still find plenty of music and more at the last fling starting on August 29th.